It's time for another new Kansas City Spotlight. Here's your host, Lauren Scott. The Medicare annual enrollment period is winding down, but choosing a plan and enrolling may not be as difficult as you think. I'm Lauren Scott, your host for Kansas City Spotlight, and today I'm joined by Senior Medical Director at Optum, Dr. Lee Norman, with tips to choosing the best plan that meets your unique needs. Good morning, Dr. Norman. How's morning. it going? Great, thank you. So the enrollment period ends December 7th, mm -hmm. right? So what are the first steps that people need to take if they're going to get enrolled? Well, the first one, obviously, is to make sure that they're eligible for Medicare, and most people over age 65 if they're U.S. citizens are, and there's some other categories. But the thing I would recommend is doing your homework, because all the plans are not created equal. There's many plans out there, but also don't be confused by it. It's as simple as A, B, C, and D, and anybody can do that. Mm -hmm. So what are the best first steps to take when, uh, when, make, when enrolling? What I would recommend is that when the annual enrollment period is uh, on, October 15th to December 7th, there, there's a letter that will uh, come to you and it will be ex explain the changes that are going on in the Medicare plan for the enrollees when they get it and then to see if it still meets their need. If they need to make a change, fine. If they want to automatically re-enroll, that's fine too. But make sure to study up and do the homework. What happens if someone who's eligible to enroll avoids enrolling this year? What happens is that they just continue on their same plan, and that might be fine, but it may not be fine if they have new health circumstances. There is a catch-up period in the first part of the next year, but you do not want to have a plan that isn't well suited for yourself. Now, what are some key options to consider when enrolling? Well, there's Medicare A and B, which are hospital and ambulatory care services, but there's also C, which is Medicare Advantage. That brings a lot of things in together, including hospital, medical services, drugs, and other kinds of things as well. It could be uh, vision services, hearing, et cetera. And then D and other kinds of supplements. D is for drugs, because a lot of people are on very expensive drugs. Important to know what their coverage provides. Okay, so what are some important things for caregivers to remember when it comes to enrolling? Well, and there are a lot of caregivers out there for people of all ages. It's really important to make sure that the beneficiary has the plan that's right for them. Mm -hmm. And just because the plan was right last year doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be right for next year if a person's had a change in their overall health. Okay, so it's all great information. If people want to learn more about any of this, how can they do that? Um, the, our website, OptumKC.com, is a great place. Also, Medicare.gov. and. It's very simple to go to those sites and sort through it. Okay, all right. Thank you so much, Dr. Norman, for being here today. Thank you. This Kansas City Spotlight has been paid for by Optum. For more information, visit OptumKC.com.